So here's the situation. I have this basic image of a tennis bracelet and I want to create some incredible ads, image and video for social media. Now, traditionally, I would have had to have hired a product photographer, a videographer or an incredible designer to do this for me. But not anymore. Today, I'm actually going to be using an AI image and video generation platform called OpenArt. And I'm going to turn this basic image of a tennis bracelet into these images and a video that I can use on social media, all from simple prompts. Now, I've been using Open Art here for quite a while on lots of different projects. If I head over to the image section here, you can see I create tons and tons and tons of content with it. And I absolutely love this tool, but I've never really shot a review video. So in this video, not only am I going to create some incredible content and content visuals for my tennis bracelet so you can see how amazing this tool is, but also how simple it is to use this tool. I'm also going to talk about why I love Open Art, but also as well, some of the kinks and things you need to be aware of. So firstly, Open Art, for those that don't know, is basically a tool that allows you to create video images, audio, characters, all with AI. Now, it is an open art that's actually doing that for you. And this is the misconception. It's a wrapper, if you will, on top of tools. So you may or may not be aware what an image or an AI or a video AI model actually is. That's what we've got here, a model. So if I open this up, you can see here, we've got a bunch of different models that are all called different things. And I'm not talking about a human model here. I'm talking about an AI model. Now, these AI models are built by different companies. So, for example, we've got Nano Banana, which I'm going to be using in this video. That's built by Google. And then you've got Sea Dream here. You've got Flux. Uh, you've got a ton of models. Like I say, these are all different image models, all created to help you turn an image into a different image or turn text prompts into images. Now, what Open Art does is Open Art sits on top of all of that. And that's why I love it. So you don't have to figure out technical APIs or any of that stuff. You can just come in here, use their really easy to use interface and actually use all of these incredible models without actually having to do anything technical. So inside Open Art, you can create stories, videos, images, characters and audio all from different AI models across these categories, all inside this one dashboard. Now, I'm going to be heavily focusing on images today and also video. Below this video, you can sign up for Open Art for free and you will get enough credits to follow along with what I show you in this video. However, little caveat, I highly recommend not using your credits on video. Um, it's probably one downside to their free accounts. You get enough credits to use and create multiple images and you want to use your credits on images. They go a lot further. If you jump into videos, they cost more credits. I am going to show you the video section on this video, but I wouldn't recommend doing this on a free account. I'd recommend using all your credits on images, getting used to open art, seeing what you think about it, if you like it. And then if you do like it, I highly recommend checking out their upgrades very, very quickly. So at this moment in time, you can actually get 50% off their annual plans at the time of shooting this video. And if that offer is still on when you're inside here, I highly recommend you check it out. I picked up this plan here, which is the advanced plan. That gives me 12,000 credits a month and I've never run out of credits on either of the months that I've had this plan. You can create up to 12,000 images on this plan and up to 120 videos, which is more than enough. So if this is still available, consider upgrading, but I would test out the image stuff first, which is what we're gonna do in this video. So let's get to the good stuff. So we're going to take this basic tennis bracelet image, which looks to have been taken on a phone, and we're going to transform it into these four pieces of visual content. So we've got three images and we've got a video, and all of these are going to be created inside of Open Art step by step so you can follow along and do the same. And it's really, really easy to do, as you're going to see. So we're going to head over to the image section first here, and this is where we can create, manipulate, and transform images. Now, you can create images from scratch. So if you just came in here and typed a cat sitting on a table and clicked create down here, you are going to get an image of a cat sitting on a table. So open art can be used to create images from scratch or generate imagery. Now, we're going to be working from an image. So we're going to be transforming one image 
into multiple different images. Um, so we're going to take that basic bracelet image and turn it into fresher, better visuals. Now, you can do that inside of OpenArt, and I'm going to walk you through that. But the first thing we need to do before we get going is just make sure we're on the right model. Now, this is why I love OpenArt. You can switch out to any model you want, as we've already seen. I'm using Nano Banana for my images. I think right now it is the best um, for what we're going to be doing, but it probably isn't going to be the best forever. It may get overtaken in the next week with a better model or someone improves their model and in two months time, Nano Banana isn't as good as the other ones. And that's why I use Open Art. You don't have to stay up to speed on anything else because all these models, as they get released, are just going to be available in here. So we can just use any model we want. You could create an image now with Nano Banana and create the exact same image with Sea Dream, for example, and you can see comparisons of which model you prefer. So that's one of the reasons I absolutely love Open Art. Now, we're going to be using Nano Banana, and all we need to worry about is prompting and images. All the technical stuff is handled by OpenArt. So we are going to upload our tennis bracelet image first. So you need to upload your image into this Omni Reference box here. This is where we are going to give this to the AI model and say, this is the reference. This is the image we want you to use. We're then going to put this prompt in here. So the prompt I've got is display this jewelry piece on a dark matte black surface with soft spotlight and crisp highlights to emphasize sparkle. So it's ready to go. We're ready to create as quick as that. Um, now, down here, another reason I love open art is you can create up to four images. So it will create variations. So when you are creating visual stuff, especially for social, you want variations, don't you? So again, I generally create two, but I do want to point out if you're on a free account, don't create two or four images at this point. Just switch this down to one. So again, you're only taking 15 credits per image. That'll allow you to create all the different images we're going to create and a few more. If you start putting this up to four, you're basically taking four images and, and 60 credits with every single creation. Now I'm going to go to two just so I have two different variations and I'm going to click create. That's all we need to do. Now this takes a different amount of time depending on what the image is, depends on the model you're, you're using and also how busy open art is at that moment in time. I generally find, I mean, you've seen how quick that is. That was done in less than 10 seconds. I generally find 15 to 20 seconds for an image on average is about right. Um, but again, it all depends on model and what you're using. But let's focus on the exciting part here. Look at this. From that simple bracelet and that one prompt there, we have got this, which is incredible. That looks to be shot in a studio. It's the exact same bracelet. We've got these sparkles that have been added to it. And then we've got another variation here as well. So we've got two variations. I think I prefer this one. Um, I do like the shadowing there. Um, no, do you know what? I think I prefer this one where it's really bland. There's no shadowing. We have got that sparkle around the side there. Um, yeah, I mean, these are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, what I like to do when I'm creating multiple visuals, and here's a tip for open art, is I'm working from this basic image down here, this phone image. But as soon as I have an image like these that I've created that is really clean and really simple and not complex, I like to download these to work from. Now, what I'm going to do here, I think I do prefer this one, but there are elements of sparkle on this one that I actually prefer a little bit better. So I'm going to download this. So you can download this up at the top here. So there we go. We've downloaded that. And we can then use that image moving forward. So creating the second piece of imagery here and the second visual, I'm going to remove this tennis bracelet original image and we're going to create a different source image. And we're going to be using this image here. So let me upload that. So I'm now uploading that particular image. So we're now working from this image, that source image. Now, this one, again, is good enough to use on social right away in ads. It's a great visual. But now we're going to take this a step further and create something a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this prompt and I'm going to put in a different prompt here. And we're going to go with show this bracelet being worn on a model's wrist in soft daylight. Keep focus on the jewelry with blurred background. So I'm going to create two of those. One simple change in prompt. We're now using a different source image, but we're now going to get a completely different visual in seconds. And there we go. So we now have these lifestyle style images where our bracelet is actually being worn on a model's wrist. That is genuinely insane. How we can go from that basic photo, phone photo, literally 
one minute ago and we've already got two incredible visuals that we can use. We've got variations as well um, and we can share these on socials. We've got a great studio style shot and then we've got this one here of the actual product being used. Absolutely insane. Now we're gonna create another image. So we're gonna take this prompt out and put a new prompt in. We're keeping the same photo down here. So place this bracelet in an open gift box with soft shadows, elegant ribbon detail and warm lighting. So we're gonna create that gift box style image again from a very, very simple prompt. Let me create two more of those. And there we go. Check those out. Amazing. I mean, this one is my favorite um, because there's no real ribbon shown on this, but we've got our bracelet sat in the box there. But this one here, I mean, the ribbon box, it obviously the box has been, the lid's been taken off and it's just showing off the bracelet. Again, if you're a jewelry company here and you sell luxury jewelry or you sell um, costume jewelry, whatever, you can display boxes. You can display what this would look like for a gift. And in a matter of a couple of minutes, we have an image that is studio quality showing off the incredible bracelet. We have a bracelet being worn on an actual wrist to show this is what it could look like on your wrist. And then we've got this image where we're actually saying, hey, this is what this could look like as a gift. This is genuinely insane. And as you can see, this is happening in seconds with very simple prompts. Now, if you're wondering where I actually get these prompts from and how I come up with these, these are actually taken from a mega prompt guide I put together with a video course called AI Visuals That Sell, which is basically a gigantic video training course showing you how to create amazing business visuals, product visuals across six different modules. And I have a prompt guide which has over 160 prompts for products. It's incredible. Now, if you're interested in that and interested in learning more about turning images into incredible visuals, check out the description, you'll see a link. But we're gonna move to video. So for our last piece of content here, I wanna create a video. Now, the really cool thing about open art is when you have an image that you like and you want to turn it into a video, we can just click on it and then you can go use image and click on image to video. And that's gonna bring you through to our image creation uh, section here. Let me just delete this one I was working on earlier. Um, but as you can see, it's very similar to the image creation section where we can create text to video, image to video. This is the section we're in. Now you can use open art just to create video from scratch with prompts um, on their text to video option, but we're on image to video. Now it works in the same way. You can select a model. It's displayed slightly differently, but at the time of this video, I think Kling 2.5 is by far the best, but you can select different models as and when they get released. Now we've got our image already in here that we dragged over from that image section. I'm now gonna put this simple prompt in. Pan around this bracelet slowly from right to left, catching sparkles from the diamonds as if this is a video ad. And that's all we need to do. You can choose five seconds or 10 second long video. I'm gonna keep this to five. If you're just signing up on a free account, don't waste your credits on video just yet. Use the image stuff, get used to the platform, and if you like the platform, go and upgrade, then use the video stuff. So we've got this prompt in here and then we click create. Now videos do take a lot longer than images to create. They're way more intense, more complexity, but we don't have to worry about that. There's nothing technical we need to do. We've just got to wait a little bit longer. So videos in my experience tend to take around a minute and a half to two minutes to create. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back once this has been created and we're done. So that took just under two minutes to create. Let's take a look. I mean, that is unbelievable. I, I still get blown away when I create this stuff, even though I've created so many videos, so many images, every single time you create, you just think, how on earth can you do this with simple prompts? It's genuinely insane. So this, is open art and this is why I use it. It's really, really easy to use. You've seen me in around 10 minutes here, create four different visuals from this very basic phone photo. We've now got four pieces of content that we can use on social media. And it was all done with simple prompts. 
So in the description, you will find a link to open art. If you want to come and sign up for a free account, I highly recommend you do. I highly recommend you test it out on images. Don't waste your credits on videos. Test the images first. If you like the tool, then hopefully you've got those annual plans at 50% off still. Go and grab one of those and then you can basically create so much content across images, videos, and then check out their stories, characters, audio, and more. Open Art for me keeps you on the cutting edge of all of these AI models without having to worry about it. So you don't have to worry about what's the latest model I should be using. All the latest models are inside this platform for you to use. So it takes care of all of that for you. You can just come and be creative. Now, if you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to hit like. I really appreciate it. And if you want more AI tutorials, AI content tutorials, and also AI agent workflow tutorials as well, I cover this stuff on my channel every single week. So don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.